Hi, my name is Veronica Patel. I am the Community Health Worker at Spring Branch Community Health Center. We are here to highlight this month's topic for sexual assault awareness and child abuse prevention. According to the National Sexual Violence Resource Center, sexual violence is a complex societal issue that affects one in five women and one in 71 men in their lifetime. According to the CDC, one in four children have experienced abuse or neglect at some point in their lives, and one in seven experience abuse or neglect in the past year. We are here with Lisa McCaj of Justice for Children to talk about her organization and the resources they provide to victims of abuse. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you, Veronica. We are also here with Selena and Gabby, the two of the advocates from Justice for Children. Welcome. Can you tell us a little about your organization and what services you provide? We provide advocacy and case management for victims of child physical and sexual abuse. A lot of our calls and intakes that come in are from protective parents and other caregivers whose children have been abused. We help them navigate the Child Protective Services pro, uh, system and the legal system. We provide crisis counseling and make referrals for more in-depth counseling. We provide legal referrals and some representation. That's great to know. Uh, can you tell us about how many cases of child abuse you see in an average in a month? and how you help these victims of abuse feel safe and secure and know that there's help out there for them. Telephone calls and intakes that come in through our website, we receive 75 to 100 intakes per month. Um, uh, the initial contact is made by an advocate and we let the client tell the story, get their feelings out there, get their concerns out there and make sure and, 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 and direct them toward what exactly is it you want us to do for you. Can you tell us a little about how we as a community can be an advocate in the effort to help in child abuse? Absolutely. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you don't confront the abuser. You'd also want to contact your local police department, the non-emergency line. File a report, make sure you get the police uh, report number and then you'd want to contact the statewide intake CPS number, which is 1-800-252-5400. And you can also contact Justice for Children at 713-225-4357. And if you suspect your child is being abused, by all means, as Selena said, reach out to law enforcement. If there is an active incident going on and it's an emergency situation, call 911 ask the responding officer for a case number uh, so that you can proactively follow up on the case. Also ask for an emergency protective order form to further protect your child from the abuser. Another thing that our agency does, Veronica, to help end child abuse is we provide parent and teacher training uh, along the lines of child abuse, neglect, what it is, how to prevent it, and how to intervene. If you can provide monetary donations. With these monetary donations, they help strengthen the organiza child organizations and provide awareness. And once you get those through those avenues, you're, you can thoroughly say that you advocate for a child. The way that you volunteer your services, you can reach out to organizations at www.justiceforchildren.org, or you can contact us directly at 713-225-4357. Thank you, Lisa, Selena, Gabriela, for being with us today to discuss the importance of bringing awareness to the issue related with Sexual Assault Awareness Month and aiding in the effort to end child abuse. Together, we can make a difference in our communities.